So last week and a little bit this week, Apple released a slew of new products when it comes to the Mac. They released the M4 Max. They released the M4 and M4 Pro Mac Mini, which was a hit. And they also released the M4 Pro MacBook Pro. So that's cool. So let me know, I'm just curious from the get-go, what do you guys think of them? So the new Macs, the iMacs, came in a very slightly new colors, barely anything different. The mouse and the keyboard now come USB-C, and they're updated with the M4 chip. M4 chip obviously being so much better than the M1 and M2 and M3. So why would you get an M4 iMac? Well, for starters, if you want a, a computer in your kitchen, you want just a basic computer to go shopping, that, that is why you would buy that. If you wanna do anything photo or video related, you can do it, but it would struggle. That's when you would get the M4 Pro. If you were going to school and you're just typing documents, you're doing stuff like that, man, the M4 is going to be killer. And the iMac for the price, it's really pretty and it looks really good. It's really thin, so that's a really good option. But if you want to have the flexibility of choosing your monitor, choosing your speakers, choosing your, your mouse and your keyboard, the Mac Mini is the best deal in computing right now. The Mac Mini starts at $599. It is a 5x5 five five little device. It is a little bit shorter, like half the height of the Mac Studio, but it's like one fifth the size of the original sized Mac Mini. I could be totally wrong with that. Apple also said that it is 20 percent or 20 times smaller than the competing Intel based computer in size, which is awesome. So the Mac mini needless to say is even minier now, even though it's a little bit taller, the power buttons on the bottom. And yeah, that kind of sucks. But if you can get over that, the Mac mini is amazing. Find a awesome monitor like my BenQ monitor, find one on Amazon or eBay for like 200 bucks. You can find one that's like 60 Hertz or even 120 Hertz. You can get a curved monitor. You can get one with speakers or without speakers. You can buy your own speakers and plug it into the back. Also, yeah, the new Mac mini has IO. It has USB-C ports on the front and it has a headphone jack on the front. So if you're doing some video editing, you can just plug the headphones right into it. And then you can plug your speakers into the monitor. And so whenever you wanna use it with monitor, you choose that and it'll go to the speakers that is plugged into the monitor, which the monitor is plugged into the Mac mini, so it'll work. And if you wanna use your headphones, then you use the headphone jack on the front of the Mac mini. The Mac mini is a beautiful device. It's a very powerful device for the price. It is incredible. I just wish it came in the space black color. M4 Pro chip is starting on the Mac mini as well. Of course, that's more expensive, but you're gonna get a much stronger computer. It's gonna be able to handle video editing and photo editing and some 3D graphics and all that stuff, which is incredible. Again, for the price, this computer is going to be Killer. Now, again, if you want one of the best deals in computing right now, just the base M4 Mac Mini is incredible, $599. If you want more numbers and specs, check out Apple's website and there's a bunch of other YouTubers. But if you want just a base video on what to get for these computers, this is the video for you. Next is the M4 Pro MacBook Pros. Those come in space black and space gray, 14 inch and 16 inch. By the way, all these computers start at 16 gigs of RAM. They come with Apple intelligence, whoopee hoo. The M4 MacBook Pros, same everything on the outside, but you get, you get the power. You get the M4 chip, you're gonna get all of the power, but in a portable device. They're expensive. They start at like $1,500 and then $2,000, which is a similar price to the iMac, but you get the power of portability. These have amazing speakers on the inside. They have pretty good microphones. They have an updated camera as well. It's no longer like the 780p, 720p camera. It's now, I don't know if it's 4K, I think it's 1080p now. And that's, you know, that's huge. That's, it's something, okay? So these M4 Pros are awesome. The Mac Mini, again, the best device in computing right now. I'm, I'm expecting an M4 Max to come soon, whether it's later this year or spring of next year, I'm assuming, because we need an updated Mac Studio. Even MKBHD said, this is the first time since the M1 Max chip, he's been tempted to upgrade. That's how powerful these computers have gotten. The M4 base is kind of competing with the M1 Pros and M1 Max. I'm using an M1 Pro, MacBook Pro, and it's kind of getting old, it feels like it at least, but maybe that's just because I need to clean it up because it, it is a mess on the inside. That's my problem though. 
So what do you think of these computers? Do you think Apple screwed it up? Do you hate Apple for putting the power button on the bottom of the Mac mini or for the charging port still being on the bottom of the Magic Mouse? Because I don't care. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm Jake, this shot on my phone. Thank <laughs> you.